Hello, Evan Rand here for a video on how to increase the uh, capacity of the silo system on the Millennial Farmer map. Uh, there is, in fact, two silo systems on the main farm of this map here. So, depending on how you want to do it, you'll probably want to increase both of them here. So, for starters, the first thing you want to do is make sure you extract the map. So, we've got the Millennial Farmer map here. And then you want to uh, extract it so you can actually work on the files. If they're inside the zip folder, you can't, uh, can't work on them. You cannot edit them. Uh, in my case, everyone, I do have WinRER, so I can just uh, click right there and extract it. It'll do that. Uh, if you do not have that program, you can also, uh, this is built right into Windows. Uh, a couple of down here, you got Extract All. You can click on that, uh, hit Extract. It'll probably take a couple minutes to extract, depending on your computer. And then once you have that, you'll have just a regular folder here. You're going to want to go into the folder. Uh, then you want to go to Placeables. And then you want to find the... Farm silos, so farm silos, I should say, farm silos. And inside here, that's where the uh, both the silo systems are. Uh, real quick here on for this map, uh, you have the main silo. This is like your main storage. And then you also have the way the map is set up, your wet bin silo. These are two separate silo systems. So you got the uh, farm silo, I believe that's the main one. And then the farm, si farm silo W is your wet bin silo. Uh, in the case of the map, when I played on everyone, I increased the silo capacity size of both of these silos. So this is just an XML file. Uh, you can open this up with a uh, notepad if you want. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to read it just because it's all black. doesn't colorize it or anything like that. I uh, highly recommend you get Notepad++ if you don't have it. Like I said, highly recommend this, and you can see everyone hopefully makes it a lot more uh, readable, easy to understand what's uh, going on. So once you open it up here, uh, I've got the farm silo MN. That's the main silo loaded here. Default capacity is 950,000. I simply added a zero, everyone, and made it 9,500,000. And based on at least the bushels to liters conversion that I did, everyone, this is going to put it uh, fairly close to my understanding of what the real life uh, farm has, the millennial farmer has for uh, real life silos. Uh, I think it's just uh, 260,000 bushels or something like that. And then uh, the wet bin silo. So, or actually, you know what? let's go back to this here real quick. I mean, uh, we need to bump up the capacity. So there's two places you need to do this in the XML. Uh, make sure you don't forget this. There are two places. If you change it right here, everyone, it changes nothing. This is just simply something the game looks at. Oh, okay. And it tells you what it is. This does not actually mean it'll change it. So what you want to do, everyone, you want to go down... Uh, in this case, it is line 54 in the XML I have here. So line 54, again, that's if you use Notepad++. And you're going to find the actual capacity here. So this is under storages, storage. Then down at the uh, last bit of this line here, you got capacity per fill type. And this is the actual capacity that the game uses. So make sure you want to change that one as well. So you ideally, when you want both this number and the number up here to match. Um, technically, I mean, it doesn't really matter what this number is. <laughs> it honestly doesn't. But uh, the number that is important is the one down here. So make sure you change that one there. Same thing, everyone, with the wet bin silo. You got the capacity up here. This technically doesn't matter. The fill types up here doesn't matter either, by the way. Again, it's when you go down to the storage section. So this is line 46 in the wet bin silo. It actually specifies your fill types down here. Uh, again, just to reiterate, everyone, when it comes to modding this stuff, this up here means absolutely nothing. It really doesn't. It's just uh, for store data. Uh, this down here actually controls what the actual mod does. Why Giants does it this way, I don't know. That's a uh, discussion for another time. But uh, Fill type down here, I bumped it, I believe, was it 100,000? I don't remember exactly what this was before. It was probably like 100,000 or 200,000. I bumped it up to 2 million. Again, if I did the math right, I believe that gives you, I think that's pretty close, I wonder if, if I remember correctly, to what the actual real-life, again, farm has for wet bin silo storage. I think it was like 50,000 bushels or something like that. Uh, I don't remember what the exact conversion was there again, but so I bumped that up to 2 million liters, so 2 million liters. Uh, of course, everyone, once you uh, make the changes there, you know, make the change, make sure you save it. And we'll just uh, close out of that. I uh, want to back back out of this. So again, I mean, this is under the Millennial Farmer, Placeables, Farm Silos. That's where you can find both of those XML files. 
Like I said, I highly recommend you get Notepad++. It'll make it a lot easier to edit those. Uh, you don't need to. You can use a Notepad as well. Regular Notepad will edit them. Just uh, save it when you're done. Uh, so anyway, once you got that done, everyone, make sure you zip this back up. So select all your files, right-click on them. Uh, in my case, everyone, I do have WinRAR, so I can do Add Archive, hit the zip, and done. Uh, if you don't have WinRAR, you can go to Send To and do a Compressed Zip Folder. It's uh, creating a zip of it. Now, of course, you don't want to leave it with this name on here. kind of want to name it the proper proper name here once it's done. should take just a second here to zip this up. Ten seconds remaining. Well, that's actually doing that, I can uh, go grab the name here. And let's see, is it done zipping? Hmm, Ten seconds, huh? Oh, five seconds. There we go. Again, I'm independent on your computer. I'll make a difference on how long that takes. Just uh, paste that name in there. Drop that back in your mod folder. Uh, make sure you don't have the other one in there already. Uh, drop this back in the mod folder or overwrite it if you have to. And then you should have an incre increased silo capacity size everyone, on your silo system on the Millennial Farm map. Uh, if you folks have any other additional comments about this, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.